I'm Fiona McCallion and welcome to what traits are showing in a lowercase letter E. By looking at handwriting you pick up personality traits and in the lowercase E there's a possibility of three different traits showing up and I'm going to show you how to identify them. So from now on when you look at the letter E you'll be able to tell one of three traits or maybe a mixture of all of them the writer has. So first we're going to look at two traits, open-mindedness and narrow-mindedness. And in this first example here, you'll see the E's are open. There's a space inside the E and that's a space that allows for new ideas. So this person is open to new ideas. It doesn't mean they'll accept every idea that comes their way, but it means they're open to considering it and to thinking about it. And if it fits for them, well then they'll go for it. The second example, you'll see there is no space in the E's at all. They're closed and that means the mind is also closed. This person, if presented with a new idea, has a real problem with it. They just can't seem to wrap their mind around the concept of, the, of any new idea. They like things how they've always been. They may, if they a new idea hangs around long enough that it becomes sort of, they get used to it, they may well then accept it eventually, but it will take a long time. And this last example has one of each. The E in the word the is open, so open-minded, and the E in the word vouchers is closed, so closed-minded. So this person will sometimes be open to new ideas and at other times they'll really find a hard, it's a hard job to accept them. So now we're going on to the third trait. This shows in the lower case E. And you'll see these E's here, they look like back to front number threes. We call it the Greek E. And the Greek E indicates literary interest. So anytime you see someone writing like that for an E, and also some people use that symbol for an R, a lowercase r. So if you see that symbol, whether it's a lowercase E or a lowercase r, it indicates literary interest. So now you know three different traits, narrow-minded, open-minded, and the Greek E. So here's a quick quiz for you. Pause the video and have a look at all the traits we have here, all the examples we have here, and identify whether they're open-minded, narrow-minded, Greek E, or a mixture of any of them. Would you like a handwriting reading? I offer them in written form or in person via Skype. For more information, check out my website. There's a link below in the description box, or click on the contact in the description box to email me directly. And here are the answers to the quick quiz. The writing on the top left, the E's are closed. The two E's in Bean are very, very slightly open, but not much. And the other ones are closed. So basically, this person has trouble with new ideas. They are narrow-minded. The top right, the E's are open. There's room for new ideas in there. This is someone who is open-minded. The bottom example has two different types. The Greek E shows literary interest and the bronze colored arrows point to some open E's for open-minded. So this person is both open-minded and shows Greek E's. So how did you do with that? 